new snapshot is upon us, and a whole bunch more features have been added. Prepare yourself, Sub, because this one is a big one. There's a bunch more blocks to find, and even a new biome. Are you ready to show us 15 things you didn't know about Minecraft Snapshot 12W15A? I'll have to warn you, Sub. For the most part, this is a pretty dark snapshot, but you're gonna love the large amount of new building materials you can gather from the nether. Let's get right into them. Number one, new music. Minecraft has always had some wonderful background tracks and musical pieces to accompany you on your journey. Your journey through the many different biomes and structures of the game. Sadly, there's never really been much unique music for the other dimensions, such as the Nether and the End. Until today, now there's three brand new Nether music tracks, Sub, one for each of the new biomes. Rubido will be played throughout the Nether Wastes, while Sisopia will play in the Crimson Forests, and So Below will play in the Soul Sand Valleys and Basalt Deltas. We have nothing for the Warped Forests, though, which I find a bit strange. Perhaps they'll add some music down the line, Sub. Number 2. New Bricks that's right, Sub. When there's new updates, there's new blocks. And these new blocks are brick variants to help bring life to houses, both in the Nether and on the Overworld. Nether Brick has always been a hit or miss classic. But now, you can use two Nether Brick slabs to create chiseled Nether Brick with a cool face pattern on it. You can also make cracked Nether Brick by placing regular Nether Brick in a furnace and smelting it. Pretty cool, huh? Last but not least, you can actually combine four quartz blocks to create a quartz brick variant. You like it, Sub? I'm sure this one's gonna be very popular amongst the community. Number three, Blackstone. Regular stone, cobble, and stone brick are all technically variants of one another. Well, I can now say that Mojang has added an entirely new family of blocks to the game sub. Meet Blackstone. You can find this scattered throughout the new nether biome, which we'll visit later. Blackstone is like the nether's version of cobblestone. It can be made into polished blackstone, which can then be made into slabs, and all sorts of decorative and useful blocks. Gilded Blackstone will also appear with yellow blotches inside. And last but not least, Blackstone Brick can be created with slabs, patterned, and cracked variants, as well as walls and stairs. Not only has this update added lots of new blocks, but it also makes hundreds of more build possibilities. Make sure to subscribe if you want to catch us experimenting with every one of these. Number 4. Basalt Deltas I thought Mojang said that all the new biomes were gonna get this update. Technically, we're now on four. <laughs> Incredible! The basalt deltas make use of the already existing basalt columns, as well as a mix of blackstone. The biome has a custom particle effect that looks like ashfall, which makes sense because apparently these were the sites formed from ancient erupted volcanoes, now dormant or lost to time. These deltas spawn with caves and are frequently populated by the good old magma slime. See, Sub? Now they have a proper place to live. There's also a lot of magma here, so watch your step. Number 5. Gilded Blackstone This variation of Blackstone will most likely spawn within the Basalt Deltas and drops one gold nugget when mined. Gilded Blackstone can actually resist TNT blasts and the block will drop when exploded rather than be destroyed. I'm always down for more gold in the nether. Number 6. Nether Survival Blackstone is actually very useful, Sub. Not only can it be used for a bunch more decorations, but Blackstone also acts as a substitute for cobblestone. This means the Nether now technically has its own versions of wood and cobble, making survival down here a lot more feasible. Combine that with the new Strider mobs, and you'll be able to traverse the Nether with a lot less difficulty. You could even try spawning in the Nether, and see how long you can survive without any items from the overworld. Number 7. Soul Campfires 
That's right. You heard me, sub. Soul Campfires. Definitely doesn't sound creepy or disturbing at all. Considering Soul Soil now creates a bluish flame, it makes sense that you can craft other blue light sources. But the new Soul Campfires can be crafted with three blocks of Soul Soil or Soul Sand and produce a lower light than normal campfires. The light level is 10, as opposed to the regular campfire light level of 15. Perhaps this would be useful if you're trying not to attract any unwanted attention during your adventures. Number 8. Wall Merging Oh, sub, you're gonna love this one. Seriously, I know I said this update was one of the best yet, but if this feature doesn't solidify that for you, well, I don't know what will. I'm sure many of you Minecrafters have struggled with the difficulties of building and placing walls in Minecraft. The fact that iron bars, walls, and glass can't interlock creates a bunch of problems that builders need to figure out solutions to. Say no more, sub. Just go ahead and place a glass pane in that wall there. Watch as it fuses together seamlessly. Look how awesome it looks. A full wall with a window. So thin. How cool is that? You can do this with iron bars, too. And for some really bizarre reason, sea pickles. Yeah, okay. Number 9. Hoe Upgrades Hoes can now be used efficiently against leaves from iron upwards. Unfortunately, they don't drop the leaf block, so you'll still need shears for that. But at least this is just one of their things that hoes are good at. They may as well call this the nether and hoe update at this point. Am I right, sub? I'm not, am I? Oh well. But hey, you at home can be right. Want to know how? By liking the video. That's the right thing to do if you want to support our content. Number 10. Foliage Fuel Hey, sub! You know how composters can be filled with various shrubs and foliage from around the overworld? Well, now all the nether plant variants do the same thing too! Both types of fungi, crimson and warped, as well as roots, nether wart blocks, and even vines can be used to create some bone meal. Number 11. Cold Shoulder Striders aren't a hostile mob, but they sure are hot-headed. This is because they really enjoy lava lakes and the warm atmosphere it brings. Sadly, if they leave the lava, they'll actually change color and start to get cold. They'll even shiver. Aw, poor Strider. Come over here back to the lava before you start sneezing. Number 12, Dispenser Plus. Dispensers were already really handy. In fact, you use them in most of your redstone builds. Not only great for hidden bases, but for everyday machines around your home. Well, now they've had an upgrade. Dispensers can now apply saddles to a pig, and the same with horses, but only if they're tamed. They can dispense carpets onto tamed llamas, equip chests to mules and donkeys, shear snow golem heads off, and last but not least, shear those mushrooms off of a mushroom. Number 13, new chat stuff. There are a whole bunch more chat options. And considering you don't talk much, Sub, this could be really important for you. In accessibility options, you can now find line spacing as well as chat delay, allowing you to prevent spam and even getting a nicer looking feel to your chat. Number 14, Pathfinding. Mobs have always had their AI and behaviors tweaked and improved. But this time, a bunch more optimization has been added to the mobs. This means they're a lot smarter and won't fall for your usual tricks. Mobs like zombies will now avoid magma and campfires to stop taking damage. Think that's cool? Let us know what other smart mob behaviors you want to see added to the game. Leave us a comment. Number 15, Mini Details. There's always a few smaller things, Sub, and as it would happen, Zoglins weren't originally classed as an undead mob. Now their so smite can hurt them. You can no longer get loot from baby Hoglins either, just in case you had any bright ideas, Sub. Finally, there's a cool new Piglin banner pattern that's been added to the game. How cool is that? 